Hey everyone, and welcome back to Kimmy. Sorry it's been so long since I recorded an episode of this. Work has been torment. But I'm ready to get back into this. Uh, I forgot how relaxing the music is. Alright, let's see. Where were we? Gotta start with those two. Hey, Jimmy. Hi, Kimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Um... What you reading there, Jimmy? Looks neat. Latest porno ma I mean... <laughs> Latest gaming magazine? Oh, he's reading Archie. Cool. Some friend, some of my friends at school read that. Did you get it at the bookstore? Yeah! I've never read a comic before. Y you can borrow one of mine whenever you like, Kimmy. And then we can, uh... Ooh, sounds like he's a lover boy! We can talk about it and pick our, our favorite characters. I think she likes him, too. Oh, wait! That was him! <laughs> oh, he's definitely an awkward one. Wow, that's nice of you, Jimmy. Guess you have a new friend, Kimmy. I think that sounds fun. A anytime. Anytime. Um... Say, so, are you free to play a game with us, Jimmy? We'll teach you something new. I'm not very good at games, but if Kimmy wants me to... Oh, he's bashful. I'm teaching. I'm teaching. I'm teaching Kimmy games and helping her make friends this summer. If you're learning games, can I play games with you on the playground sometimes too, Kimmy? Once school starts. Okay. I don't play much at school, but I will with you if you want. What? Oh yes, yes please. Um. Let's teach them how to gamble. <laughs> oh, it's Yahtzee. Darn. <laughs> okay, let's play Yahtzee then. <laughs> you need a hundred dice! <laughs> Sounds like someone maximized her fireball. And doubled the cap of it. Well, more than doubled, but so. A 20-sided die. We're getting ready to play Dungeons and Dragons! <laughs> you need five dice. Then you have lots of ways to roll dice, but only some are quiet. <laughs> then, you have five ways to toss a dice at your friend. <laughs> at your friend! Then you have 13 combinations of dice that you want to roll. Is it 13 in Yahtzee? Uh, straight. Triples. No, quads and quins. Yeah. Now you get points if you catch the dice when your friend tries to roll them. <laughs> now you take turns rolling the dice. Add them up to get points from a cer from certain combinations. Now, you get points if you roll the dice and they don't make a sound. <laughs> you win if you roll the quietest dice. You win if you caught the most dice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the one for catching the most dice is actually the hundred die one. You win if you scored the most points. I thought it was a... No. No, no, no. I'm thinking something else. Sure! One hour later. You're not bad at games, Jimmy. I think you were good. Oh, thank you! Thank you! Did you get those toys at the corner store, Dana? Yep, I had a little money saved up. I save up my money for comics, but I've been saving up money for a yo-yo lately. I don't have any money, but my mom said that's okay. I do sometimes wish I could buy more toys, though. 
you don't get an allowance? What's an allowance? You know, it's a thing that you earn. Oh yeah, you don't earn money. Uh, allowances. Kids take them for granted. You had to do chores to get an allowance for most people. For me, as long as I remember to take out the trash and take the recycling out and uh, put the stuff to the curb, I got my allowance. Ugh. And then... I fucked up. And then I got a job, so I didn't need an allowance anymore. A little money that your parents give you every week, usually. Oh. Don't worry, not everyone gets allowance, Skimmy. Friends are better than money anyways, and we're going to make lots of friends for you. Actually, that statement is very true. Friends are better than money. Money is nice and all, but frankly, it's completely pointless if you're alone. So. <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> Thanks for playing nice and helping me because because I get nervous because kids sees me for being slow sometimes and Jimmy you're awesome. Shut the fuck up. All right? No need to be sorry. They're bullies. Don't worry. You're great. Right, Kimmy? Yep. <laughs> I love you too. You are awesome. That's nice of you. Kids tease me, too. Why would they tease you? You're so nice. Um, because people like to take advantage of nice people? A lot? Like, ridiculously so? I would know, because I'm one of those kinds of people. So. People get mad and ask me if I know how to talk. That's so stupid. It's okay to be quiet. Don't let them get to you. If anyone tries to bully either of you, let me know. I'll deal with them. I'll bring them to my backyard. And they'll never see the light of day again. Oh, that voice. Please hold. Aha! <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> the boys might try to tear your shirt, though. Why would they target the shirt? I'm the fastest runner in school. They can't touch me. I'll tell them to shut up and then... I mean, I guess I'd just run away and tell my mom and dad and... I'm not actually that helpful with bullies. <laughs> they bug me, too. My mom says not to walk around too much alone. Good advice! Very good advice. I wish I had that kind of advice when I was walking home in elementary school. Not a good time for me. Yes, being with a buddy is a good idea. Maybe next year at school, Kimmy, we can sit together at recess. I know that we're that usually we're both um, sitting alone. Then maybe we won't get picked on as much. If you want, that sounds okay. You've never played together at school before. You two should stick together. Well, we've only talked a couple times. Yep, there it is. He likes her. It's obvious. <laughs> that makes sense. You're both pretty quiet. Um, uh... Will you? Does that mean... Uh... Dude, spit it out! Will you be my friend, Kimmy? Okay. <laughs> you too. Young love. At its finest. Wasn't that fun, Kimmy? Yes. 
think this deserves a sticker. You did a good job. We're gonna keep making you lots of friends. As she keeps saying after every single person. One hour later. Three o'clock. When does the parent come home? What time does she have to be home by? Um... What's wrong, Dana? Aren't you supposed to be out with Kimmy? Kimmy and I just wanted to stop by, Mom. Fine, well, I think you should be out getting some exercise. We're walking everywhere! What about you, Kimmy? Is Dana treating you okay? Yes, we're trying to play and make friends with the neighborhood kids. That's good. It must be nice to be out of that harness. Did your mom have that on you because she was busy in her the house? My mom ties me to the banister when she's working and Dad's watching me. She says she doesn't trust him to keep his eye out. Okay. Ah, I see. Well, I'm glad Dana can help. Anyways, I think I had something for you two. Here, take this wiffle ball and go play. We got a wiffle ball. Time to drop off Kimmy. Miss Monroe, I'm here to drop Kimmy off. Alright, it's four o'clock. We can do four activities a day. Or was it six? Four, five, something like that. Welcome back, girls! We had a good time today. There you are, Kimmy. Wonderful, Dana. Thank you so much. You're such a great help. I really... Oh, where is it? Work was so busy, I swear I didn't forget. Here we go, your quarter, Dana. <laughs> we earned our first quarter. Woo! Quarter time! Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta do that thing that Jack does. <laughs> Thank you so much! May I come again tomorrow? Yes! It would be a great help if you could. Okay, see you tomorrow. There you are! Mom! I was just stopping by the corner store to grab some milk. Are you done babysitting and Kimmy? Yes. I just saw you at home. I mean, it's not like I just left there or anything. Moms, am I right? Oh, uh, Mrs. Navarro. I'll be going inside now. Let's go, Kimmy. You need to have some dinner. Have a nice evening. I'll walk home with you, Mom. Mom, when I picked Kimmy up this morning, she had a rope tied around her. Is that normal? Oh, was she tied to the doorknob? She was tied to the porch. My mom used to tie me to the doorknob so she could focus on making dinner. It's a little old-fashioned. Oh. You never tied me up, though. Well, I suppose I never worried about you running off. Mom was used to worry I'd get into trouble, so when I was Kimmy's age, she'd keep me hooked to the doorknob if there was no one to keep an eye on me. Wow, that's... kind of weird. Yeah, I, I agree on that one. My parents never tied me to anything. Then again, I was also a really, really, really laid-back kid. And I'm still laid back today. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. I'm so chill, it's scary. A harness is a cheap babysitter. <laughs> you look proud when you say that. I guess so. Well, I'm definitely a better babysitter than a harness. Um, uh, gas bubble. Come on, let's head home. I'm glad you have a job now. Keeping busy is good for a girl your age. Okay. I hope I can be a good babysitter. Kimmy is kind of quiet, so it's hard to tell if she's having fun. You'll do fine. Yeah, last time I heard that, things ended up going terribly, terribly wrong. 
It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Hi, Kimmy. Here to pick you up. Is your mom home? Yes, but she's sleeping. She worked really late last night. Oh, okay. I won't bother her then. Is there anything you'd like to do? I like to go out and play games with you and the neighborhood kids. Do you think they like me? They sure do. I hope so. Don't worry, Kimmy. Let's stop by the store. We can say hi to Dean and pick up some game pieces. Okay. Hi, Dean. Hello there. Hey, Kimmy. Just smiles. Just... <laughs> You're pretty quiet, aren't you? Aren't you, Kimmy? Sometimes. <laughs> That's okay. I was a quiet kid, too. I can't imagine that. Oh! I know, I know. I didn't come out of my shell until I started going to doing theater at school. Look at that sly look. That smug face. It says it all. He got all the ladies. I decided to do theater at the... That's how they got around that? <laughs> at the YWCA. Just wanted to say at the YMCA. I... You can't really see it because my arms go past where the camera can see. We're doing Snow White. That's right, I heard you joined the YWCA. Good for you, Kimmy. They put on good youth shows there. I bet you'll have a great time. Yep, Janie and I will help you. We've done lots of plays there. Just go say hi to Joshua, Kimmy. He works in the booth doing lights and sound. He can help you learn the ropes. Uh, okay. Isn't he an adult? <laughs> Just as much of an adult as me, I guess. It's good to have an adult to look out for you when you're in a theater full of teens. I'll make sure he helps you out. I'll tell him. Joshua is really nice. Yeah, we go way back. Thanks, Mr. Dean. Was he your partner in crime? <laughs> well, I know you didn't just come here to chat. Let me know what you'd like. Ooh. That's very important to have. Grab some marbles. Um, what do we have? Let's see. Uh, I think I played three games? It was either three or four. Um, that's always fun. Thanks, Jane. One hour later. Yeah, it's all the way up until three, so I've got one, two, three, four more things that I can do. Alright, I've got six. Oh, I've got eight! Okay. I've done three games, though. So. Hey, Kimmy! You're on the loose every day now. Yep, Don Dana takes me out, Donna. Are you guys having fun together, or is Dana too busy f trying to flirt with Anthony? Mm. I'm glad to see Kimmy smiling a lot more now. She's more animated. Animated? Like me? Like Mickey Mouse? Like your ears? <laughs> 
I love my ears. You know what? The other day Harold said he really did like my ears. Maybe he was just jealous when he said he hated them before. Harold really likes clothes, I think. So if he says they're good, they're good. Obviously. I don't know what about Janie, though. I thought she'd like them, but she hasn't been talking to me as much. Oh, say, do you want to play a game with us? Alright. Let's go with this. Let's try Wiffle Ball. Yay! Kimmy, are you getting good at all these games now? Oh, I don't know. It's just playing. Uh, just playing is fun. Good for you. As for me, I get a little competitive. Okay, I'll teach you how to play Wiffle Ball. Ah. <sighs> This is going to be fun because this is actually one I don't know. All right. Need a wiffle ball, bet, and a pitcher. Like a person pitcher or a drink holding pitcher. I'm I'm not sure. Um, need a wiffle bet and a pillow. You need a wiffle ball, bat, and a soda bottle. I'm gonna go with the first one. Then place a soda bottle on a small table or chair. Then place the pillow on the ground, puff it up nicely. Then one friend pitches the... okay. And one friend pitches the wiffle ball, and you try to hit it as far as you can. So it's like baseball. Try to knock the soda bottle over by aiming your wiffle ball at it when you swing. Take turns hitting the pillow with the wiffle bat. Mark the spot on the ground where your ball lands each time you hit it. You win if you knock the soda bottle over. You win if you hit the ball the fur farthest after 15 turns. You win if you can knock the feathers out of the pillow. Back when pillows were actually made with feathers. Sure! Good game, you two. Hey, Kimmy, are you making more friends now that Dana's helping you? Oh, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure how you tell if someone's your friend. <laughs> Me neither, honestly. I think you just know. But there are kids that you know you're never going to be friends with. Like me and Anthony. There are also friendships that break apart. Like me and Janie. You and Janie aren't friends anymore. You and... Punctuation is important in how things are phrased. You and Janie aren't friends anymore? No, she's such a snob! She thinks she's so important because she does theater stuff and talks to boys. Like, who cares? Exactly. Don't get into those boys until you're out of school. That'd probably be the best time. Theater is fun. You should try it sometime, Donna. You could wear cool costumes and stuff. I don't want to do theater if Janie's around. She'll just try to show off because she thinks she's so grown up. There's no reason to be rude, Donna. You're going to upset Kimmy. I'm just being honest. You're being a bitch! Anyway, I have fun with you two. Playing games is great. I like to win. It makes me animated. That's what you said, right, Donna? Yep, as animated as Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I'm glad we're neighbors. I wish we could still play together on the porch, but we're both always out now. Seems like you two could really be friends. I don't know. Maybe. Ouch, don't you like me, Kimmy? I don't want a friendship that's just going to break later. Like you and Janie. Oh, shit! Well, that doesn't mean we can't ever be friends again. I don't know. Really? Don't you just hate her? Didn't you have fun with Janie before? You liked her, right? Yes, I liked her a lot. You were lying. You hate her. That's what you told us. No, I wasn't. I don't hate her. I'm just mad. 
Well, first of all, she made fun of me for wearing my ears all the time, because I wouldn't let her wear them. I hate that she spent her time doing theater and not being my friend. She's the one who forgot about me. Did Janie say she doesn't like you anymore? No, I just know she does. I never see her and she doesn't call me anymore. That doesn't mean she isn't your friend! I have friends like that! Actually, most, most of my friends are like that. To be quite frank. I got one friend who's usually doing college stuff. I've got another friend who was doing video editing and uh, video recording and stuff a while back, and he had to drop that because he didn't ha he couldn't keep the funds up, and he wasn't as good at organization as he is now. And I've got another friend who's in the military. Another friend who's halfway across the country. Um, I got a lot of friends all over the place, and they're all doing all sorts of things. And honestly, I think the only reason why we don't hang out anymore is because I honestly don't make the effort to try and contact them anymore. Because I work a lot. A lot, a lot. And... Yeah. My life is sad. But enough about my depressing life. 